Welcome back to Tiny Track Cars at Candy Mountain. This week we have 16 pickup trucks taking over the track. These trucks are heavy, fast, and looking good. Let's take a closer look at the 16 trucks in this competition. Hot Wheels Ford F-150 Lightning. 1991 GMC Cyclone. 1972 Chevy Love 1966 Dodge A100 sponsored by Mothers Polish 1935 Ford Pickup Hot Rod 1967 Chevy C10 that might be my favorite I might be biased but it's my favorite 1963 Studebaker Champ let's just call him Champ from now on no foreshadowing there. 1956 Powell Sport pickup. That looks slow. Tesla Cybertruck. I hope the windows don't break when we test this. 1980 Chevy El Camino. Or the letter H if you're following along with the series. Butterfinger himself. 1947 Chevy 80 3100. Dodge Ram 1500 with a cap on the back for aerodynamic purposes, of course. 1983 Chevy Silverado. That is one beautiful machine. And we got a Mazda in there. It's a Repu. Repu. I don't know how to say it. Someone please correct me in the comments. That baby's got flames. It's the 1969 Chevy pickup truck. And finally, we have a 2009 Ford F-150. Sponsored by Goodyear. Let's take a look at the bracket and our matchups for this race. We have four groups of four. They're going to battle off in four races. Uh, each group of four will have two cars that move forward into the next round, aka the finals. Here is group one, race one, that Ford Lightning out in the pole position, and they're off. Ford Lightning way out front. That Chevy Love looks like he's having some trouble in the back. Ford Lightning just takes off, and I don't know if he's looking back. He heads right through the donut wall and out the donut wall, and he is the winner of race one. He will take home four points, followed by that GMC Cyclone, spelled with an S. I don't know why. DNF for the two other cars. I'm not sure what happened to them, but they did not finish. That's what that stands for. Race two, the Cyclone out in the pole position with the F-150 Lightning behind him pushing them down the main straight as they come into Lollipop Landing. Through Cupcake Corner, the Cyclone's still out front with that F-150 bouncing behind him. Gives him a little love tap and spins out there. The GMC Cyclone will walk away with this one. Meanwhile, oh, something happened in the Ford F-150. Lightning got loose and he finished. Meanwhile, the other two cars are crashed. All right, race three. We are racing. Chevy Love in the pole position. And Mother's polished vehicle is looking hot, but he gets a little out of control and hits the barrel. That F-150 Lightning squeezes on by him along with the rest of the pack. And the Lightning goes through the donut wall, back out of the donut wall, and he will walk away with four points in this one. Let's watch that back a little slower. Bounces off the wall whacks that cone and everyone just squeezes right by him. Alright, final race of this group one. Lightning out front again. He continues to be the fastest truck in this group. Will he hold on to it? No, he flips over. Cyclone passes him. Followed by... I don't see anybody else. Is it possible they hit that for Lightning? And did not complete the race, we will find out here momentarily. Yes, that is in fact true. All three cars are stuck in Cupcake Corner. Let's see that again. That lightning just gets sideways, tires catch, and he flips right over. The Cyclone's able to get by, but nobody else does. Group two, race one, that forward pickup in the pole position. C10 next to him. 
Studebaker behind, followed by the Powell pickup. They're running a pretty tight cluster here. Let's see if they can hold it together. Ford pickup out front as they go into the last turn. That C10 is trying to get by, but that Ford says, no way, I'm taking this one. Four points for the Ford pickup, followed by the Chevy C10. Who's a Ford fan here? Who's a Chevy fan? I, I prefer Chevy over Ford, I, th I think. But I like Toyotas. Sudebaker up front. We'll just call him Champ. Again, no foreshadowing. I'm not saying he's going to win or lose, but he's looking good. Followed by the Powell pickup. And it looks like we have some... Ooh, Powell pickup pulls ahead of that C10. And the Ford does not finish. Race three, coming at you. Three, two, one, and they're off. Studebaker, Champ out front, the pole position. However, that Powell does pull ahead right off the bat, but soon gets passed as, that, as Champ goes down there in the loop-de-doop, still unnamed. If you have any names, drop them in the comment. We want to name all these corners. And Champ finishes first. Looks like the Powell got stuck in the donut wall corner and falls off the track. Again, that Ford pickup will come just short of finishing the race. Sorry about your luck. Try harder next time. Last race of this group. Who will take it? Powell Sport up front. He just crashes. He was going too fast, and that car does not handle well. But Ford is out front now, followed by that Chevy C10. Will he hold that lead? That C10 looks fast, tries to pass on the inside. Ford says, nope, you're not getting by me again. Closes the door on them as they come to a screeching halt past the finish line. Let's watch what happened to the Powell in turn one. He is going too fast, gets a little out of control, slams the brakes, and hits the median. Spins out. Sorry, bunch of luck, and then let's watch that finish again. It looks like that C10 was going to overtake, and then the Ford closed the door on him and says, better luck next year, or never. Depends on if we run a Ford or a truck race again, which we probably will. Trucks are, trucks are fun. The Cybertruck looks like he's brake checking that Dodge. The Dodge moves around to the outside to get around him. Will he be able to catch that El Camino? Butterfinger spins around. El Camino is looking good. Dodge right on his tail as they go into the donut wall. They come out. It looked like that Dodge wanted to get by him. And Butterfinger is blocking the Tesla truck. Chevy AD3100 is getting in everyone's way, spinning around. He must have melted chocolate on his tires. That's what happens when you get sponsored by Butterfinger. All right, next race. Race two, I believe. I'm keeping track. That Tesla is looking slow. Fast acceleration on those electric vehicles, but they don't have much top end, I heard. Uh, Butterfinger BBs, I'm mean, just kidding, and just Butterfingers, no BBs here. Is out front, will he hold on to it? He does, followed by El Camino, good for you. Dodge, Ram, 1500 in third, and Tesla truck finishes in fourth. We have a four car finish. That might be the first one of this series. This is a, this is a tough track on purpose for these trucks. Very high speed corners, they have a high center of gravity. They don't do so well. But that Dodge Ram is making this track look easy out there. He's fast. But he rolls over in the donut wall. I'm not even sure what happened because you can't see it. And that's the beauty of the donut wall. They sneak up on you. You have about 10 or 15 of those and it goes right to your hips. That Dodge might have had a couple too many donuts while he's back there. Got a little top heavy. Rolled that thing right over. All right, race four. Dodge out front. He he does look like the fastest in this group. I'm not sure who's who's second. Uh, they've kind of been battling back and forth here, but that Dodge is looking good. It may be the aerodynamics of that cap. I'm not sure what he has in there. Maybe it's weights. Can drivers put weights in these things to go down the hill faster? We do have another four-car finish. Looks like the Dodge and the Butterfinger 
we'll move on to the next round, aka the finals, which will happen in the next video. Alright, next group. Silverado out front, followed by the Mazda. I'm really rooting for the Mazda, just because I want a Japanese truck to win this whole thing, but he's not looking good. He gets hit by that Ford F-150. He's getting punted around by that Silverado. Looks like he's going to walk away with this one. Mazda second, Ford in third, and that beautiful flaming hot Chevy is uh, wrecked. He's sideways. All right, race two. Mazda Ripu, Ripu in the pole position. They should still make that truck. Mazda should make the trucks. I think I think I'd buy one. No, I I like to this too much. Oh, that. Uh, Ford or Chevy pickup is looking fast. Maybe it's just the flames. I'm not sure, but to me, it look, looks good. And he will take first place, followed by the Mazda with the Ford F-150 coming in third. And on to the next race. We're heading. We're moving quick here. On to the next race. That Chevy pickup, 1969, in the pole position. Ford F-150 takes off right out of the gate. He's got that modern suspension. So he, he, he probably handles a little better than those other other cars. And who knows, he's got four doors in that thing too. He could put friends in the back and things in the bed. Carry all sorts of act activities and, and things uh, while winning races. Silverado is not finishing this one, as you see in that instant replay. Ooh, that Ford F-150 is in the pole position. Will he take it? It looks like he may walk away with it, but that Chevy pickup's right on his booty. Ford does bounce around a little bit there, but the F-150 will take this race, followed by the 69 Chevy pickup, Silverado, and then the Mazda. Looks like the Chevy pickup, 69, and the F-150 will move on to the next round. And here's a look at the top eight going to our finals, which will air in our next video. Out of these final eight trucks, pick your favorite and drop the name of that truck in the comments. You may have a chance to win cool prizes. And thank you for watching Tiny Truck Cars at Candy Mountain. This has been our first ever truck series, and we're excited to publish some more. So please like and subscribe to these videos if you want to see more racing action on Candy Mountain.